Yeah, hey everyone. So can, to continue our man memory management topic, I wanted to talk about allocation and deallocation of objects through the garbage collector. So this topic will kind of cover what it is, what it does, and then future topics of this, we'll talk about fine tuning your garbage collector, the different algorithms available, items as that. So with that said, what is the garbage collector? So the garbage collector is essentially a daemon thread and it's going to try to find and delete unreachable objects from heap memory. The garbage collector only runs on heap memory. So your next question may be, what is something or what is an object that's considered unreachable? So as we talked about in our last topic, we talked about threads and we said that there's at a minimum one thread main and then whatever other threads are associated with the process or the code or anything of that sort. So threads have different states that we talked about. So if there is a thread that is live, so any live thread that can't reach the object, it's considered unreachable and then it's eligible for garbage collection. So essentially how it works is the Java program is going to tell the JVM to run a garbage collection or a specific instance of it. So the JVM does control the garbage collector. And with that said, some people do might prefer typical memory allocation deallocation as we've talked about. And our next slide kind of covers the pros and cons of that. So control and performance. So specifically control, if someone needs the allocation to happen at a very specific time, um, it's kind of difficult to implement garbage collector at a specific time at a very, very fine tuned point. It's going to determine when to run it. Let's say there's low memory. Let's say there's a cycle that has to run at a certain arbitrary point, it will run. But if you want to, it to run under an exact block of code or some sort of memory management at that point in time, deallocate a reference to something, that's more where you don't want to use it. And in addition to that performance, you're abiding by the pre-made algorithms. So we'll talk about the different ones available, but some, let's say some developers might want to control objects, deallocation, allocation, or control references or whatever that may be by themselves. Or let's say they don't like the performance of the algorithm, they can create their own. Obviously you can create your own garbage collector, but what would happen in something like C is they'll have a specific block of code run that performs whatever algorithm or dereference that they want at that point in time versus the typical garbage collector as we talked about, will you run the algorithm specified by Java or specified by the JVM parameters? All right, sounds good guys. Enjoy the rest of your day.